Good morning, dear student. Very happy to be here. Today I am going to teach you uh, elementary mathematics from uh, grade 5. So, today this percentage. If you see the percentage, if you uh, understand the sign, the symbol, that means if you if you need to understand the sim uh, this symbol, what we need to do, we need to find out this, to differentiate this uh, same words. The power means each. That means poti. That is singular meaning. That the, it means that one. And cent means the century. That means hundred. As we know, the three in cricket, what what they do? They do like a, after doing someone doing hundred runs, they called it century, right? Okay. So we can understand that century means hundred, and each means one. That means we got a point. That. 1 is divided by 100, something like that. That percent is always put 1 divided by 100. So, the symbol of this uh, percentage, and we can see the symbol. This is the symbol of percentage. Actually, what we do, we should know that in real life, where we should use it or where we are using it. Uh, in our real life, we can use this percentage system in bank interest rate. So, uh, whenever we are uh, depositing any money or we are withdrawing money, sometimes the bank giving us the interest or sometimes we are taking loan from them, on that time they will also pay the uh, interest, both are quarter, right? So, at the same time, we can go to the discount shop, you know, <laughs> students, uh, sometimes we go to market and we like to get some discount from the shopkeepers, and on that time, we always find the discount. So, how we get the discount? How they are giving the discount? So, from this chapter, we will learn the uh, percentage system. The in exam marks, you, several times you have seen that uh, exam times teachers are giving like this that uh, you got uh, 80%, right? That means, what does it mean? That means that you got uh, 80 marks out of 100. This is the things. The same thing, we if we write like this, the percentage sign will be added like this. So, except for whatever in your life, there is lots of uh, uh, privilege that you can learn from percentage and it is very, very important for grade 5 to learn this chapter. So, I want to emphasize one more time, the percentage symbol, don't forget to put the symbol behind the number ok so let's go practice some maths this is a very easy method i will teach you so this easy method if you follow this easy method you can do lots of mathematics in your uh, real life in and in your exam so let's do uh, please open the book the book and uh, page number 94 here you can find the express the following quantities in fractions and decimals so let's try number one. So page number page ninety four. Number one. There is one math like this. There is written like this sixty percent. If you see, there is written sixty percent. So what should we do? What should we do? We will convert this one into a uh, decimal. So there is. If I will continuously when I will teach, please. I check carefully that I am telling this this is 60 percent right so if we convert this one like this uh, this is 60 percent let's convert this one okay so this will be like this the 100 the century number is 100 so we are doing this is 60 percent that means the someone got uh, uh, 60 out of 100 so this is the way so at the same time if we divide 60 by 100. What will, will outcome will the outcome coming is see uh, the uh, 0 0.6. If we see the math says if you divide this one, then this will win, this one will come. Let's go another one. Pay, go to page number 95. Page. 95. There is some lots of maths. There is from there I will 
try to show those maths which will help you most and if I, if you do one you can go for another one so let's try one more okay so there is another different figure so, so let's try uh, there is like 24 divided by 100 the same method here and we did it this like this see the combination they are changing themselves if you found this one so divide this one with 24 okay so the outcome will come 24 percent like this we can write it, this one easily right this is very easy method so let's try with different one if you got uh, a figure like this with decimal point what you will do so if we check the decimal point with uh, number okay we'll write number two zero point fifty four right so this is different right so here if we see this one what we will write the easy method as we know the each means one right one and how many digits are there after the decimal put two zero that's very simple just write it this is the answer correct and this is the another easy method and we will practice it continuously day by day and if we go for another math so let me erase here so we will do something uh, different one okay so number that was it will be number three okay so this one will be number three twenty one divided by fifty there is the confusion right so as i said that last time this is hundred always hundred will come but how we will do this one there is the point this is the point because uh, if we understand the thought there is 50 so we need to make this one 100 we need to make this one 100 how we will do that so the common theory is if we do anything deduct or addition subtract whatever we need to do both sides up and down so let's go for it go we need to make this one. what is our target we need to make this one 100 so this is very easy okay 21 into 2 50 into 2 that means we will get this one easily so 21 means how much 42 and this is 100 so now this figure is very familiar to you right this was unfamiliar now this one is familiar so now you can convert this one into any figure if you want. So we can write like this 42 percent. This is the answer. So it's very easy. When you see, don't be perplexed. Take it easy and try to think that we need to always target is we need to make this one. Always we need to make this one 100 because this is the percentage rule. We have to put downside this one. You have to make this one always 100. So, I think you understood this maths, and I will give you, uh, I will show you another math that is a uh, worst problem, another worst problem. So, this is the easy method. So, let's go for one worst problem. Thank you.
here is the question so if you see this is uh, we have done the short way now we are going to a, do a worse problem there are 30 students in grade 5 30 students and 12 students are girls how many percentages are girls so let's try this math okay the solutions so there we go there is a two number right so how many girls are there 12 out of 30 right so 12 girls out of 30 always don't forget it choose the total number always try to put it down and which from which number or which number you want to get the percentage always put that one on the top okay this is very easy method so what we need to do we need as last time i, I was talking about we need to make this 100 right so this is uh, 30 how come we will make this one 100 so there is very easy technique see so we can uh, do division here okay so if we uh, use 6 the common number uh, 5 6 the 30 right okay 5 and 6 to, to the 12 see so let's write 5 2 okay 5 4 2 so this is very easy way so we got this i think you understand this 6 with 6 we got this one so, uh, 6 to the 12 uh, 6 to the 30 okay so we got this one okay so now we will convert we can convert this one into 100 right we need what do we need 100 because if you want to do percentage math we need to go for 100 let's go okay so how much we need 2 into 20 5 into 20 right this is very easy so here we got 40 out of 100 now is this similar right now check the steps properly so we divided here we got 5 upon 2 then 5 upon 2 into we need to make this one 100 that's why we uh, multiply with 20 so 20 and same thing we need to do on the top and we did like this then we got 40 and 100 so how many percentages we got this is the very easy math so let's write here the answer is uh, 40 percent so answer we will write answer there there are 40 percent Homework. 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 Homework.